try that. Hi everyone and welcome to yet another episode of Ravi's World. I believe this is a sixth episode and today I'm in Mount Eden and I will be bringing to you guys, or showing you guys, um, the crater. It was assumed that the crater is dormant, basically meaning that it's not, it's not active, it's completely harmless, never going to erupt. But recently scientists have come back again with a theory saying that they're not sure it could erupt any moment. I mean it hasn't for over the, over the period of a hundred years. But they said that it could happen any moment now. I'm pretty sure I'm right about that. You can Google that theory up. But then again, in New Zealand, we have a lot of craters. There's a lot of volcanic activities in, in our country. So you're going you're gonna to have these things popping up pretty much all around. Um, whether they're active or not, you know, a lot of them, some of them are, and you can actually see it happening. So I guess it's, uh, it's what you believe, you know. I mean, if it erupts tomorrow, it happens. Who knows? You, know, you can't live in fear and say, I'm going to go and leave the country just because something hasn't happened for over 100 years could happen tomorrow. It's a theory. I don't know. Um, but you know what? Life goes on. I feel very positive when I'm out here in this, this environment. It's so quiet. and But actually, I'm kind of hiding because it's kind of busy up there right now. A lot of people, tourists love this spot. Um, yeah, but I love coming here because it just makes me feel very positive. Uh, and so let's talk about that. You know, how do we remain positive in this life with so much happening? You know, we, we get so much negativity coming through family, sometimes friends, your loved ones. Or even in media, you see so much happening, uh, people getting hurt, murder, war. I'm not saying everything is negative. There are positive stuff as well. But how do we, how do we, how do we sustain the positivity, right? How do we keep that? And I mean, uh, and, and you know, in my opinion, it, I feel it's always a battle. It's a battle uh, that enables you to sustain that, that positive uh, energy, okay? I do it all the time. You know, you put me down anyway in the gutter, man, I'll, I'll come back up and I will fight. Because I believe being positive um, is, gives out a vibe to those around you and motivates them to do the same. Being positive helps you live a better life. So how do we remain positive with all this negativity around us. Well, I tend to dig deep down in me and say what it is that I love in life. I mean, I love what I do. I love the fact that I'm in New Zealand. I love the work that I do. You know, I love life in general. I absolutely love life. I think it's a gift. But to remain positive, you need to learn to overcome a lot of barriers. And the way I do that is to uh, read things that are positive. Um, I like to listen to music. I, um, I exercise, I run, I train, um, and I try to hang around people who are positive at the same time. <laughs> you know, there are a lot of things out there in this world that, that, that makes you positive. Being around in nature, looking, just sitting there contemplating. Sometimes we need to just um, clear your mind. Another way I do that is to be thankful for what I have. You know, I, I, I've traveled a little bit. I have not traveled a lot. I haven't seen a whole lot of the world yet I'd love to I love to travel again um, but as I traveled I saw people who could who were still happy they didn't have a lot but they were still happy every time I feel like I'm getting down being drained I think about these people and I'm like no they didn't have all of those they had very little to do with it. yet they were positive they were happy they enjoyed life they were laughing cracking up you know and I'm like well <laughs> If that could do that, so could I. I think about um, the good times in my life um, when I was really happy as growing up as a kid. Um, you know, our life is never perfect. My life wasn't perfect. There were times I hated life growing up. Uh, and even sometimes again, I, uh, we go through these phases, you know, where things happen, we lose friends. Sometimes they don't give you a reason. Sometimes you try and reason and you muck things up. How do you, you know, these, uh, these things happen. But. I, I always go back to my zone, I call it my zone, and you'll hear a lot about it, where I go back, I um, kind of meditate, 
clear my mind and think about positive things. You know, just doing what I love. I mean, there, there must be something that you love. Think deep down inside of you and think about what it is that you love to do. There has to be. All of us, in all of us, there's something that we do love to do. I can never, I've never come across anyone, any individual who says, there's nothing in this world that I love. Think positive is all about doing what you love and bringing those around you up. When you start to do that, you realize that it's not all about you. It's about who's around you. It's, it's, about, it's about the people who are with you. And it all of a sudden it becomes clear to you that when you start to be positive, it's, um, it becomes evident in your eyes. And it comes to you and when people start to see that you're so positive, they love that about you. And you feel that too, hey, I actually love being positive, you know. Sometimes when I'm down, I just create a little mental picture of myself doing something that I love to do, and that makes me laugh, like I just did now, you know? Like I'm on a beach somewhere, I'm having a cocktail or something like that. Um, it just makes me laugh, and I continue doing that, and next thing I know, I'm, all the negativity, all the bad thoughts in my head are gone, you know? Yeah. You don't have to climb mountains and go through a spiritual experience to be a positive person. You know, if you want to do that, if you have, found that enlightenment, hey, good on you, awesome. But it's little things that you do that can help you be more positive. Let me sum it up for you again. For me, I listen to music, because I love music. Um, I play sports, I go running, I exercise, I write, I read. So these are all the things that I love to do. You find some stuff that you love to do, being negative makes us make rational decisions, things that we're gonna regret. So take your time, Love one another, love yourself, and love life. All right, take care everyone, and just be yourself and be positive.